गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो हैविंग डिस्कस्ड व्हाट वर ल्यूइस डॉट स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हाट वर्स कॉसल ल्यूइस अप्रोच टू द केमिकल बॉन्डिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द लिमिटेशंस आई मीन लाइक द सैड पॉइंट्स अबाउट दिस ल्यूइस डॉट थ्योरी सो टुडे द टॉपिक विल बी लिमिटेशंस ऑफ ल्यूइस थ्योरी you know because of all these limitations which i'll be discussing with you today this was a this theory got failed and like we rejected it and we moved on with the new theory so first of all the reason why we have to study this because this question exactly the limitations of lewis dot theory or lewis structures can be asked in your exams for maybe two marks or one mark question okay so let us directly move on to what were the limitations What did Lewis say by the way? I remember Lewis said that if any atom is having octet complete that atom would not react. Am I right? This was what he said. Like he said noble gases they have their octet complete and hence they will not combine with any other element to form a molecule or to form a compound. Right? but now let me tell you there is a molecule which is xcf4 xenon is a noble gas how come noble gas which is already having its octet complete is combining with another element fluorine to form a molecule not only one molecule there are so many molecules which are formed by xenon so our lewis dot theory could not explain the existence of such molecules according to him these molecules should not be formed but if you look at the nature these molecules do exist question mark why do they exist lewis had no answer so it failed understood so this was the first limitation now let me say the second limitation according to lewis it says that if there is incomplete octet okay if the octet is not complete the atom will combine with other atoms to form a molecule and it will keep on combining until and unless it attains a stable octet am i right that is why it said that earlier carbon had just four electrons now it combines with four hydrogens so that it has a total of eight electrons and hence the molecule becomes stable right but now i'll give you two three examples first example let us consider beh2 if i ask you to draw the lewis dot structure beryllium is 2,2 2. so 1 2 two valence electrons two hydrogens are coming hydrogens duplet complete duplet complete let us count the number of electrons in the case of beryllium 1 2 3 4 uh oh oh Beryllium is still having four electrons. That means, according to Lewis, BeH two should be an unstable molecule because beryllium is not having octet complete. But if you look at BeH two, it exists like anything. It is so happy as BeH two. Now, why is it happy? Lewis couldn't explain us. Not only one molecule. Now, let me take the example of let us say. borane bh3 this is known as borane b 1 2 3 hydrogen 1 2 3 let us count hydrogens uh, uh, duplet is complete now count boron 1 2 3 4 5 6 how come the molecule should be stable when it is still having a uh, deficiency of electrons 6 is obviously less than 8 so according to lewis again bh3 should not exist but sad point bh3 does exist so we asked lewis how it existed lewis was like mm -mm, i don't know so he called it as an exception so lewis said that anything which is not satisfying the octet rule was an exception the first exception he said was beh2 second he said was bh3 similarly if you work out with alcl this is another exception so he said that there are certain molecules which would be exceptions which have like deficiency of electrons 
Okay, we were still okay that maybe in his theory some other other points are wrong which is deficiency of electron might be some examples. We were still okay with his approach at this point. But then if I say a molecule PF5, SF6, these molecules do exist and they are like really happy molecules. Now let me ask you to draw the Lewis dot structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Phosphorus has 5 valence electron, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Now if you see whether what is the number of electrons in the case of phosphorus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It is having 10 electrons which is obviously greater than 8 electrons. And you know what? According to Lewis, this molecule should not exist. But this molecule does exist. Similarly, SF6 has a total of 12 electrons in the case of sulfur. How is it possible? So, Lewis couldn't explain these expanded octet molecules. He said all of them are uh, exceptions because they are expanding the octet, they are going beyond it. So he called all of them as exceptions. Now we asked why they are exceptions. He was like, he doesn't know. Okay, so this was also another problem with the Lewis dot structures. Now not only this, if I give you one another example, let us talk about NO2. Nitrogen in the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electrons. Oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oxygen needs two more. It's taken. Oxygen is happy. Nitrogen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, do remember it as a rule, rule of thumb, that nitrogen cannot have more than 8 electrons in the valence shell. Never, never, never ever it is possible for nitrogen to expand the octet. Now if it is not possible for nitrogen to expand the octet and this oxygen is still there, so nitrogen thinks, let me give one pair of electron to this oxygen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oxygen is also happy. But let us take the case of nitrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now what we should do, what should we do about this odd electron? Such species, the one which have one electron which is alone, which is not paired, these are known as odd electron species. And when we asked Lewis, do you have any explanation? He was like, no, these are exceptions. Okay, so this was another problem. Now I give you one more example of NO. One, two, three, four, five. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Oxygen needs 2. We gave from nitrogen. Oxygen became happy. Look at nitrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Another odd electron species. We asked Lewis, do you know? He said, no. These are exceptions. We were like, how many exceptions, man? We cannot work with every molecule being called it as an exception. That means slowly and steadily, the Lewis dot theory was moving to the failure. And thus, we were moving to the an another theories. One another thing about Lewis dot structure, which was problematic, it couldn't explain anything about the shape of molecule. Like in the case of carbon dioxide, you remember, I have drawn the structure like this. Now, whether the structure of carbon dioxide is this or it is this or it is this, Lewis dot theory couldn't explain anything. Okay, so these were all the limitations for the Lewis dot theory and hence we now will keep the Lewis dot theory aside and we will be moving to the another theory to study the chemical bonding. But obviously that I'll start that I'll do in the next video. So do watch this video very properly, make the notes, if any doubts are there, do post it to us and then I'll take up your doubts. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.